What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, just welcome. So you guys are a tough crowd. I think this will be my 43rd video on this channel, which kind of makes it still a baby. Um, I don't get too many likes and not a lot of comments and I've asked people to comment uh, on some stuff like what do we want to call the Firebird build and there's just no action. So you guys are tough. Um, I'll try and figure out what you guys are looking for. In the meantime, I'm just going to go for it. I'm going to do me. I'm going to be me. Um, if you like, comment, and subscribe, I would really appreciate it. I kind of want to grow this community. Uh, but like I said, I'm still kind of a baby at this. This will be my 43rd video. People out there with hundreds and hundreds of videos. So uh, I think I'm at 88 or 89 subscribers, which to me is phenomenal. Uh, but like I said, I want to grow this community. So to that end, I think today we're going to start off by adding some LED trailer lights to my friend's boat trailer. And then we'll get back to the Firebird build. And I don't care what you guys say. I'm going to name it the Black Widow build, which was what I wanted to do all along. I was just hoping that somebody would chime in in the comments and... Uh, kind of push me in that direction, but uh, I've got my mind made up. It will be the Black Widow build and you guys will see why when it's done. I've got a couple little surprises in store for this car uh, when it's all done and hopefully it turns out uh, any advice or input along the way is always going to be appreciated and welcomed. So enough of me jabbering on, let's get to work. So the bracket on this side was either broken off or cut off. So I went down to the local Home Depot and just picked up some 1 8 inch steel stock that's the same width as the factory bracket. I'm just going to shoot it with a little bit of black primer and paint and I'll drill it out and mount that on there. That'll give us something to mount the new tail light to. upside down. <laughs> I cut the uh, angle to match the angle of the bunk rail there and then I put it on upside down so I had to flip it around. Anyway, let's get the light on. Okay, so both of the new tail lights are on. But since both of the wires are the same color, I have the trailer plug up front plugged into my truck. And I'm just gonna meter for like left turn signal and right turn signal. And then that'll tell me what the other wire does as far as park lights go. So let's meter this out. Okay, so this wire right here is the turn signal. And we'll go do the same thing on the other side. Pretty light out here, so they're not super bright, but they are on. Okay, 
Let's hit the brakes. And that's new taillights. So I had to do new taillights on this. When she brought this boat into me, the wire harness from the tongue of the trailer was melted. So there was obviously a problem. So I troubleshot it, found a couple shorts and one bad tail light that was internally shorted. So I just got some LED lights, fixed all the shorts in the wiring and put a new uh, plug end in that goes into the truck. So that's not melted anymore, it's brand new. And then obviously replaced these lights and now everything's good to go. Now, let's get to that Firebird. Okay, next day, I'm working on the car. As you can see, she's pretty much out. I did forget a few things, uh, power wire. I don't even remember. There was a, a couple little things that I forgot, nothing major. Uh, but now that we're at this point, The exhaust is hanging up, especially on the other side, especially on this side right there, the exhaust hanging up, it's keeping me from sliding this whole assembly out from underneath the car. So we're gonna hack the exhaust off and then we'll deal with and worry about putting that back together or just doing a whole new exhaust. So stay tuned, we'll get that exhaust cut and then we'll roll this thing out. There it is guys, me and my son pulled it out. First one ever. Watch enough YouTube videos, you can do anything. I've never done this before, but if my son and I can do it, y'all can do it. There it is, 3.8 liter V6 has left the chat. Somebody has death been in here. Look, we got free tools. Somebody been playing around my shit. Those things suck. If anybody out there has an easier way or the right way to get those out, please let me know. Well guys, there you have it for today. I have done the trailer lights, I mowed the front and backyard, and I tore some more of that Firebird apart. So I'm old and I am feeling dusted. So I'm gonna close this video out and in the next one, uh, we'll continue to tear things apart because we can't build it up better 
and that's not a Biden reference either. We can't build it better if we don't take it apart first. So thanks for watching, you guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace, and I'm out.